Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, today, we're looking at shotgun stuff. Uh, we're looking at the Mech 600 Junior Mark V. Nice machine. I haven't been running it very long, but it's uh, I've run a lot through it. And so far, I really like it. Now, it's basically a single stage. It's not progressive. But I'm actually able to get some uh, a decent amount reloaded pretty quick. Actually, a lot faster than I thought. And we got a lot of stuff here to go over. The shot we're using, the uh, the wads, the powder. We've got tons of holes. And I've been, I got a pile behind me here that I've been reloading um, just over the past oh, few weeks. But I want to give a big shout out to somebody named John who sent me a big bag of clay buster wads. Hundreds and hundreds of these Remington STS holes that have been once fired. I got some primers. I purchased some more shot. I purchased more bags of wads. Um, purchased a new Benelli. We're going to go into all that stuff. Well, not the Benelli today, but uh, I want to just kind of talk about the mech here because the mech is... I used to have an old, oh, what was it, pa Posnus Warren uh, reloading press years ago. In fact, you might even see it on some of my really old videos mounted to the bench. But um, this machine here, really simple, pretty much comes set up. So let's uh, move the camera this way and take a quick look. Okay, our first station right here, this is our D primer. So when you push this down, you want just about a sixteenth of an inch or so under this here, leave a little gap, because, because you have to compensate here for the lip here on, on the hull and the base. So that's your D primer and adjustable. So good to go there. This one here, this station right here is your priming station. And this comes with kind of a cup, a spring, and a disc. They slip together. It's spring loaded. Drop that in there. And when you, this is a hollow tube here. So when you push this down, it depresses this and seats that primer into the hull. Now, if you want to load three inch on this, you can simply by adding this ring here. So when you add the ring on there, it raises this up and that's going to allow you to load the, the three inch shells. But this is all set up right now for two and three quarter. We're going to do a separate video on how to actually set this machine up to do three inch. So we'll put that back in there without the use of the collar. Now, this one here, the station here, drops uh, both your shot charge uh, with the powder and the shot itself. So, coming around to the other side, let's get a look at that. So this station here is your pre-crimp station, and you want roughly a half crimp on this station here. This is adjustable, so is this back one. The rear one here is the final crimp, and you can also adjust that too. This machine for me came pretty much set up. I did make some real minor tweaks on this thing, nothing much at all. Um, also, just to point it out, keep everything nice and lubed. Let's talk about the pressure that we can place on our wads here real quick. So you've got a numbering system here, 30, 40, 50, 60. I typically like to run wad pressure right around 35 to 40. This is currently set up at 40 right now. And to change that, all you have to do is loosen this up and adjust this just a little bit, tighten it back down, test it, and get it to right, right where you want it. It's really, really simple to do. So, okay. Um, Let's take a look down here, down a little bit lower. So you have your catch tray here. This is gonna catch all your primers as they get punched out in station one. And this here though, see this bolt here and the hole above it, this is where you're gonna be able to adjust this from a two and three quarter inch shot shell up to a three inch. And again, we'll go over that in a different uh, video, but just wanted to point that out real quick. Okay, so <clears throat> moving up here to the top of the machine, we've got our charge bar. Now, um, this charge bar here happens to be one and a quarter ounce, and you can tell by the numbering on the end of it. So this one here is a 114. The one that is in the machine right now 
is actually a 118, one and an eighth ounce is what that stands for. So these bars here, this is a one and a quarter ounce shot hole here, and the charge for your powder takes different bushings. So you can drop a bushing in there and <clears throat> run that powder, see what your charge is, and if that's not working, you can take a different bushing. I've got a handful of them here, and you just change out, measure it again. But the shot size uh, hole here doesn't change as far as your shot itself. So now, if you're running, you know, lead shot, you have a, a, an insert here that'll run lead real nice. However, you may have to get a different insert if you're going to run steel or you know, kind of a heavy shot stuff that's a little bit uh, well not as soft let's put it that way so I do have a kind of a universal charge bar here where you can dial in different shot and powder charges things like that I have not used this yet um, I find that that this charge bar here just the factory mech charge bars are actually really good I, I don't really have a problem with it I did use the powder baffle that actually came in this kit. I'm not sure if you can buy these separate or not. You probably could. But uh, I've heard a lot of people say that running these baffles here um, just helps the powder flow a little bit better. So I put that on there and it runs perfectly fine. Inside here there are a couple of O-rings that uh, that you want to make sure are, are sealed up in here. It's uh, I'll, I'll find a picture and show it to you here real quick. But just make sure that they're in there. Now this whole thing flips over. You want to make sure that you have the plugs in the top of this thing. Um, I made the mistake of filling up my hoppers here, leaving my plugs out, went to tip it, and I spilled everything everywhere. Uh, I made a disastrous mess. That's been two weeks ago and I'm still tracking pellets or uh, shot around on my shoes even though I've swept my shop a lot. Don't make that mistake, just put your stuff in here, put your plugs back in, you'll be good to go. So, um, how this works is you fill everything up and you put your, once you uh, resize and prime, you put your hole in the bottom. When you slide the bar this, this way to your left, it drops the powder. You slide it after you put your, your uh, wad in, you slide it back the other way, it drops your shot. It's pretty simple. So. Um, to take to change these charge bars, you have to tip it, drain everything back into your hoppers. Take this bolt out right here. It's a seven sixteenths. Take this little mechanism off here. Slide your bar out, and slide your new bar in with whatever bushing you decide to run, uh, unless you're going to run one of these uh, one of these adjustable ones here. So, I've I've heard good things about these, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm just going to stick with uh, just the factory mech stuff and and uh, we'll just go from there. So let's, uh, let's back up the camera just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how, uh, kind of just, let, let's just load a few and uh, see how it's done. Okay, shot shell, resized. Now primer, drop that in, get that primed over here. Drop our charge, drop our shot, pre crimp, final crimp, and just like that, a perfect shell. All right, so let's talk about a couple other things here, real quick. So we've got these bushings. Um, these bushings are numbered, so this happens to be a number 32. This is a number 30. I'm running a number 29 in here with the international powder. And that functions in all of our shotguns very nicely. It patterns nicely. So, but you have to find the right charge weight based on the reloading data. So that is a, kind of a quick overview there of how this works. But let's, uh, let's do a couple for speed real quick. Okay, resized. Primed, drop the charge, 
wad in, drop the shot, pre-crimp, final crimp, done. I could actually go a little bit faster than that if I wasn't uh, talking, but uh, you get the idea. So all in all, I really like this mech, and I really like this mech too. Uh, yeah, this thing rocks. You know, for just starting off in shotgun reloading, um, I would highly, highly recommend this thing. Now, would I like a progressive from mech? Poof, yeah, um, because we're going to be doing a lot of competition shooting this year out doing uh, skeet, sporting clays, things like that. So we do plan on going through a lot, a lot of shot. Now, we can reload a box for about $3.50 a box, $3.50 a box, which isn't too bad. Um, and they actually pattern very well uh, with this particular setup here, with this load that I'm running. Um, number 8 shot, <clears throat> the Clay Buster was 1 and 8th ounce, um, the STS holes. Again, thank you, John, for uh, helping me out with some of this stuff. Uh, it's really good. My Benelli shoots about 70-30, so 70% of the shot is higher than the bullseye, 30% is lower. Um, it works very, very well. In the future, I'll probably start developing some loads for hunting. Of course, anytime we're talking waterfowl, that's obviously steel shot or some form of heavy shot, and that's fine. And I'll probably adjust this up to 3-inch. Um, I probably won't be hunting with 2 and 3 quarter, even though I've done it before and knocked plenty of stuff down. But when we do that, um, we're going to go through the adjustments on this machine to show you guys how to do that. So it's not hard, it's pretty simple. I've already played around with it. Um, not too bad at all. Other than that, uh, big shout out to Mech. Great machine, decent price, and all the pieces and parts for this thing are available. You know, you want, uh, you know, if you have a uh, these are eight crimp. You can get the six. In fact, it came with the six on the pre-crimp. So you can do you you can get all kinds of stuff for it. Different charge bars and bushings and whatever you need, whatever you, whatever you're shooting. So, anyways, uh, I guess I'm done rambling. But uh, we're going to be showing this a lot more and uh, doing a little bit more load development with it. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.